There's a fish right there. First cast, buddy. Ooh. First cast, buddy. First cast, buddy. That's my first bass of the year and it's a pound and a half. Right as soon as we switch to that high viz. Good fish. That is why we have some alternatives in that base box. 80-20, it's important. Let's see if we can repeat that. I was gonna give up, man. Two hours with no bites. First cast. Don't give up. Well, we'll start here. First cast to 24 right there. You know, the wind is blowing in and over here. So far, this has totally sucked. <laughs> the water is high, like still chocolate milky, and it, I, I think it's cold. We've been using the deeper to kind of get some depth. And we got between 55 and 57 for surface temperature on the water. So it's still pretty cold, and you can see that it's all chocolate milk. It's like eight feet deep. The stick bait had one little tiny follow. Oh, I hit the other side. <laughs> Well, we've been out here for about two hours at this point. No bites, a couple of little rinky dink follows up close. So we used the time to be a little bit productive. We did some mapping. It's 55 to 57 degrees surface temp in this little pond. Max depth is about 11 or 12 feet. The last thing we're gonna try is gonna be a, a high vis Texas rig. I'll probably do an eighth ounce weight on that. Um, one odd or a two odd hook. This right here is my clear water base box. One of the things that I always have with me though is some high vis emergency baits. They only make up about 20% of the box itself, if that, but they're just some kind of last resort type of baits. And with this chocolate milk, I'm glad that we have it. We should be able to toss this around. We should be able to get it down and it should be visible. And we'll move it around a little bit, drag it a little bit, see if we can get any nibbles i want to see how that looks i still have a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader on here just because i didn't take it off it's a little more abrasion resistant than the braid there's a fish right there first cast buddy Ooh. first cast buddy first cast buddy that's my first bass of the year and it's a pound and a half right up shallow right as soon as we switch to that high viz that fish is cold, it's light colored, but that's a good fish, man. Pound and a quarter, we'll go pound and a quarter on that. Good fish. That is why we have some alternatives in that base box. 80-20, it's important. Right up shallow. Let's see if we can repeat that. I was gonna give up, man, two hours with no bites. First cast. Don't give up. Now, as I was saying, I got a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader on here that I didn't take off just because it'll be abrasion resistant. We got this grip pin, which has this little nub on here. Keeps your plastic up on there as you bring it through heavier stuff. There's salt in this hula stick that's starting to come out now. I added some scent and this is a, pretty much a light wire hook. You're gonna get good penetration with it, but the thing is you're gonna have a hard time horsing them. So like, let's say somebody over here in this crap goes ahead and decides they want to play ball, which may very well happen. I'm gonna have a hard time getting them up and over that. There's a chance that that hook will bend right out. And that guy was in tight. There's another one. There's another one, second cast. Second cast, that's bigger. Dude, hold still, hold still, hold still, hold still, hold still. Hold still. Look at that fish. That's a pound and three quarter. Right in the top of the lip, man. That's two and two casts. Just like that, they're in tight. They're in tight. <laughs> 
Nice one. Okay, buddy, see ya. Those are my first two fish of the year, man. Those are, those are fun. Right in amongst this stuff, man. Let's keep going. The more chewed up this gets, the better it's gonna work. And I was so close to giving up. I don't wanna to twitch too much because it's cold and I wanna mimic something that's cold. But at the same time, it's low vis, I need to get their attention. We do have wind blowing in over here. There's a sticker, a rock. That's a fish. That's another good fish. Dude, that's, that's an even chunkier one. Look at that bass. Are you kidding me right now? Look at that bass, that is a healthy, that's a two pounder, man. Look at the belly on that. Right in the corner of the mouth too. That hook is strong enough to lift him. It hasn't straightened out on me yet. Look at that. That's three in like 20 minutes. Just from that simple change. And this one's two pounds. Just under two pounds if it ain't two. I mean, it's fat. It's a, it's a fat fish. Yeah. Let's get them back. And then we're going to keep working over in that corner. A little bit of corner brush right there. Gosh dang, there's like a steep drop off here and there's this cover and then we have the wind coming in on this side. It's going well. Yeah, dude. So that's three. It's 1.30, it's been about, it's only been like 20 minutes. It's only been like 20 minutes. That was a fat fish. Somebody's got it. <laughs> okay. You got a good attitude. Oh, he's about, oh, three quarter. Look how, look how light that fish is still. Pretty light. See you, buddy. That was a little bit more aggressive strike. That was a little guy, and actually, my hook is slightly bent out. I wonder if that's why I just lost him. No, that should be fine. It should be. Dude. That's a that's a chunky monkey too. That's another two pounder. That one took it a little deeper. Oh, well, pound and three quarter. Good fish. Pound and three quarter, big belly on that one. Eating something. Gotta toss her back. So we're gonna just real gentle. Head first. She'll be just fine. Now that's five fish and a miss. I lost a dink on one bait in about 40 minutes. See if we can make anything else happen. Good deal. Well, sports fans, that's how it goes sometimes. We had one presentation that accounted for six fish in about a 45 minute window, and that was it, nothing else. All that's going on is this is the windblown side. So maybe there was food over here, and maybe they were up and active for that brief window when I was around, and they could see the chartreuse. So it was good that we made the change. It's spring. It's 55 to 57 degrees surface temps on the water. It's still cold, but if you prepare accordingly, you can still catch a few, right? Still a good day. Hey, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for hanging out. Tight lines and Godspeed, Patriots. Later.